Hi, this is Fee and I um, thought I'd just do a little drill with me. Um, this is a, a, I have a, didn't do an unboxing for this one. This is a 20 by 25 full square that was, um, my mum purchased a, a few diamond paintings on Wish. So I can't even say what company it is. Um, but she is um, in Perth for uh, only a couple of days and she's seen my big custom that I've been working on and she's really interested in getting one for getting me to do a custom for where, for where she is from um, of an, an old tanker jetty that, um, that they've got and then the plan is I'll purchase a custom and I'll do the diamond painting purely on the basis that I'd like doing diamond painting, um, get the enjoyment out of it. Um, so just do the work for free just and they will raffle it up or, or something that you might want to do some fundraising. So the aim is to try and get this one completed before she goes home. So she came down, so she came up here on Monday, which is yesterday. Um, showed me all this and then last night or late yesterday afternoon it was like oh you know she'd like to do one for the G. Um, and so this one here being a full square um, and it's of a jetty the idea is that I get this completed before she goes home so she can take it back and give an example of give an idea. So I will so there was no inventory well there was an inventory sheet but I didn't do an unboxing. So, little jetty with the sunset and the birds in the background. And I'm working on this uh, colour by colour, purely because I've just taken the whole sheet off. And if I work colour by colour, I'm not worrying about doing any storage, so I'm not wasting time. Anymore. So I'm working one bag at a time, one colour at a time, one bag at a time. And a couple of things she noticed that I was doing... Um, was using tweezers. She's watched me using tweezers and she was very fascinated by it. And then I'd go from tweezers to my quick stick or to my standard trusty drill pen. Because um, what I, the way I do it, I will do tweezers to create the checkerboard and fill it in with either the quick stick or the drill pen. So I thought I'd work way through like that and um, yeah, have a bit of a chat. Um, just been, so I started this this morning, I suppose I've done, what have I done, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours already, um, I've tackled some of the biggest colours already, and I'm just working down symbols to do this, um, so yeah, um, a bit about uh, I suppose a, a bit about when I started doing diamond painting. My first diamond painting was a butterfly from Spotlight. So like every, like most people, you've seen it advertised on Facebook and was like, oh, I'd like to try it. So I think I've been through this story before. Um, but I found that Spotlight had diamond dots and I thought, well, I'll give that a try. I'm not going to go and buy heaps of paintings or paintings online and I don't even know what I'm going to do, enjoy it. So that trip to Spotlight for that was actually with my mum because she needed stuff. And it was only because she was heading to Spotlight that I went, oh well I might as well go to Spotlight with her, show her where Spotlight is and um, have a look at these these diamond dots and see what I, you know, whether I'd be interested in doing it. Which I did. I liked it. I liked a few of them. Um, and I ended up coming home with picking the um, butterfly partial, which most of the Diamond Dots ones spotlight are partials. And came home and I did it. Now, my mum comes up to Perth not that often. 
and I'm chuckling at that because she doesn't come up here often and it's more than 700 kilometres and she drives. So um, we got home and I went, oh, sorry, I'm going to give this a go, Mum, while you're here because she was also fascinated by it. I said, you know, I'm going to have a go at this while you're here just to see whether I liked it. And she was like, okay, you know. She wanted to see it. So um, it was around. It had some of the AB drills in it, so the Aurora Borealis drills in it. So it was really, really pretty. And I sat down and I started it. And um, my partner cooked dinner because I was still going. I just need to get that straight up, straight up. Yeah, so my partner cooked dinner. I don't know whether it was because I was just not budging from where I was because I was so chill or whether it was his team because we take turns cooking. Okay, so I got completely enveloped in doing this butterfly and my mum, if she saw the fact that I just slowed right down and relaxed and chilled out and um, I still chatted to her while she was there. Whoopsie, that slid right there where it was. Um, but I basically sat there and did this diamond painting for the whole night she was there. And um, yeah, got really engrossed, absolutely engrossed in it. Uh, or 20, there's one that I, here's one I prepared earlier that I haven't put in, the good old mist, mist cinders, why I don't put my, my don't, I don't put mine away, I don't bag them up or put them in their containers, while I'm still working on a lot of those, whoops, gosh I'm terrible at them, I'm better at tweezers than I used to be, just take so, um, yeah, I got absolutely engrossed in it and I got it done before and completed before my mum left to go back home. But let's just say I did, it's not funny, I did ne neglect her a bit, but she was amazed at how, how chilled I was. So that night we'd actually, you know, I'd, I'd finished the butterfly and that night, you know, I got looking at them and going, oh, you know, I will order some. So she decided that she liked the fact that I'd chilled so much and relaxed so much that she was going to give it a go when she thought it would be something for my eldest boy to do. Um, so, yeah, she ordered some Wish, some from Wish. I ordered, I think I ordered something from Wish. Yeah, I ordered um, the peacock from Wish. Um, I also ordered. Start, I got the process started of ordering my my customs, my two big customs, um, and a few other things. While I was kind of seeing all these ads on Facebook that I was having a look at these different sites that were advertising. Um, but yeah, so from there it was a case of she. I ordered. She ordered, and. I got right into it. Um, hers arrived and gave one to my son to do, uh, which he didn't enjoy doing, each to his own. I can understand why, because the one he did, the one he did, I found, I didn't find attractive myself. It's not one I would have recommended, and with. Um, with that being said, my mum is, my mum's a very active person. She runs rings around me. She run, runs rings around people half my age. So that's people in their twenties. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so she doesn't sit still. So she found that she couldn't find the time, because of what she does, she couldn't find the time on to do this. And I suppose the one that she, that my son was doing, just didn't, um, 
I don't think it did it for her either. She didn't. She wasn't particularly keen on it. So she put him aside. And then one day I was talking to her, um, and my son, because my son goes to her place for dinner, for lunches every so often, and they were on speakerphone. I was on speakerphone talking to them. They were on speakerphone, and you know I've turned around, you know, turned around and said, "Oh, what are you doing?" And it's like, "Oh, I'm just sitting here working on the garden painting for speakerphone." You know, I've got my, I'm able to continue on what I'm doing, and so then discuss with my mum how well she wasn't she didn't have the time to do hers and so she was going to bring up the ones that she'd ordered and I would complete them um, and she said you know if I wanted to sell them I can sell them if I wanted to so hence why she came up she came up and with some diamond paint so I've I completed one cart partial last night um, and yeah she saw the custom that I was working on when she first arrived the custom I had on my desk was working on it. and she she was just loved it it's amazing because it's a, a trip that's a photo I took when I was on when I was away on holiday um, so yeah came up with the idea that you know it'd be nice to do this one at a temperature here and try and pull it off But to be able to show the, everyone else that's involved with the tanker journey what she meant, what the idea and the concept behind it, she wants to be able to take one down. So me being me, I've gone, oh, well, I'll see if I can get this one done for you in time and I will YouTube it. And I was planning to YouTube the unboxing. Um, but... Because I need to get this done quickly for her and get it done before she goes back home, I thought, no, I don't have time to do an unboxing, um, which is why that didn't happen. And then it was normally I do a setup, so like I put everything in containers, um, so that when I'm working on them, they're all, you know, I've got my store, everything's in storage containers. But because I want to do it quickly, yet again, I've just decided I'm just going straight from the bags and because it's not very big. So yeah, so that's where I'm at and why I'm doing this. Now the way I'm doing this is to try and get it done quickly is, hang on, I just flung a drill. I'll come across it in the wrong spot eventually. Do you know what, there it is. It's funny. I don't know if you can see that but bring it up, where did it land then? So I flung a drill and it's actually landed sideways. <laughs> okay. It's good they don't go flying across the vest, they just stick to the, the painting. Um, so yeah, to try and get this done quicker, I've ripped off, because I'm not going to be putting this aside to, to rotate between different drills, this, different paintings, this one's it, I'm only working on this one to get this through. Um, I've ripped the cover off completely and I'm working one colour at a time from the bags. So the aim is complete this as quickly as possible. Um, and in doing that, I still, I don't want to rush it in the way where things are crooked, hence um, using the tweezers to do um, the checkerboard gets things into place uh, and a, a little bit better. I mean, I can could do checkerboard with the pens, but I just find the the tweezers just a, that much better to do checkerboard to set it up. I I, I enjoy tweezers. Now, one thing I will say is my tweezers are not straight tweezers. Makes it easier to place them by being the bent ones. I've got the gorgeous Ever Moment tweezers. Um, great to use, but I need the bend. You know, I need to be able to see where I'm placing things. As soon as you get the straight tweezers, it's just kind of hard to see. 
Right. Hopefully, though, I put you at an angle, the camera at an angle where it's higher up, purely on the basis that I'm doing working on the full canvas at once. Okay. Um, what I did do when I first, the first ones that I started, because I've got an inventory sheet, some of them don't have much in the way of drills. So I was actually counting how much, counting my drills. So that it was like, it was a case of, well, I've got put every drill in for this colour. There was one that had 54 drills. So I had one for every, you know, I had counted them as I placed them. So I had, I actually did have 54 placed, placed in. Um, so I did that for the first few that I had. And the fourth one down was my three tens. And the three tens had 256. So this is really funny funny to see. The three ten had 256 to do, which means one and a quarter bags. If the, each bag held 200, it's one and a quarter bags. Oh uh, well. I discovered that the 200 bag of 310s did not hold 200 drills. I got to 192 and my bag was empty. Now I didn't drop or spill any. Um, I was because I was counting them as I was working, so I didn't drop or spill any. And yeah, ended up with. My bag not having the full 200 in it. The quality, the black, so the 310, the quality was good. So there, there wasn't even any bad drills in that in that bag. But yeah, so if you get there and get a bag, get a, get something that says you know 196 needed, and you're going to you get a bag of drills, just you may not get the full 200 in that bag. Especially when you look at the three tens, that you know, you would think they'd get the three tens right. Okay, so that's one bag down. Um, three bags to go. This one, I've got four bags all up. So what I have done though is, as I've opened these up them out. I haven't set up the first the bag for this. Just out of simplicity, absolute simplicity, I've been cutting cutting the number off, putting it in inside one of the baggies so that when I've Completed all the all of this one. I'll just put it in those baggies. Um, no worry about storage containers and no worries about labeling because once I've done this, all I need is just to keep the DMC colors. I don't need the bag labels and symbols because, as we all know, symbols change for each painting we do, and in some cases, even on multi five panels, they change between panels. Which is stupid, but you know, it happens. So, yeah, what I'm working on now is the 435s. And I'm just placing tweezers, break for the singles, and then I'll, once I've got to start filling in gaps, I'll use my, um, probably use my clip stick again. can actually see, it actually is starting to look good on the camera, just what I have completed. I, you can see how it's going to look, because the three tens with the pillars, with the pylons in that is showing. I actually do need that bright, I hope it's not too bright on the camera for you guys. So yeah. 
Um, one of the things I generally do is a on my on my videos is a rundown on where I am shift wise. So I have just done two days, three nights. So Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday day shift. Friday, Saturday, Sunday night shift. However, I didn't do Saturday night shift because I got the doozy of a migraine and um, slept most of, well, more than most of the day. I slept well. So I only did Thursday, Friday day shift. Uh, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday day shift and Friday, Sunday night shift. So... I was well rested. I come home, got a message on Sunday from my mum while I was asleep um, before I went, went to work and saying, you remember I'm coming up in October. So that's, I remember she was coming, how funny, I remember she was coming up in October, I couldn't remember the dates. And so Sunday was the 28th of October. So I thought, oh, well, she's changed her mind. She's not coming up. And lo and behold, 29th of October, she arrives. So, yeah, she still came up in October. She'll leave in November, but she came up in October. Just going to zoom that in. Um, so yeah, she's up here, she's got some courses she needs to do, um, and it's always interesting when your mum comes up, always interesting. I get to hear a lot about what's going on in the town I grew up in, um, which, you know, when she talks, talks about yeah, she keeps, she keeps me up to date with a lot of stuff and it's like, yeah, I don't really need to know. But then she also talks, some of the stuff she talks about is about people I went to school with, you know, and I hear about what they're doing, what they're up to. And, um, and none of it in, I will say this, none of it in a nasty way at all. It's just, you know, bits of things that she can, she remembers happening. And, and it, it's great. You know, I still get to know what's going on where I come from. I, you know, my, my oldest boy is married and lives there. And so, you know, Esperance is still, still a place that I'd be like to visit. If what, really, on occasion, you know, 700 k's away. The airline going there is not the most, what I would call the most reliable. And... So I'm not keen to fly with the airline. <laughs> Stories I can say about that one, I will say shortly. Um, but yeah, so I'll go down there every so often. And most of the time, if I go down, I prefer to drive because then I've got a car there. Um, being a small town, you know, it's always good to have a car to drive around. And because it's on the coast, I can take a drive and take photos of, of the coastline, which is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, for anyone that's actually watching, is if you Google uh, Lucky Bay and take your friend, you'll see some absolutely stunning, stunning places. Or Google Esperance. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, I prefer to drive down and like my mum, she comes up to Perth and she'll drive up as opposed to flying up. Because then she's got a car to get around and she's not relying on me to drive her around. So yeah. Um, I'll go back to the story about the airline. The airline, I've flown with them. I've done two round trips with this airline. The first one I did with them was good, no issue with. The second one, however, the second round trip I did with them was 
horrible because it's a small plane. Um, only a couple of days before getting on one of their flying down there with them, um, one of their planes in the eastern states had, had their engine. One of their engines had actually fallen off. You know, it, it's not a good thing. You know, it's, it just doesn't distill faith in the, the air, 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 airline. Um, or part of the wing, or something had fallen off while it was flying. So you get, you know, the, the planes aren't the newest of things. They're maintained, you know. Obviously, they've got their safety standards, but it's still horrible to think um, about events that happen on some of this, some of this airlines planes. But my trip down, um, it was windy in Esperance, and, and <laughs> let's face it, it's windy in Esperance a lot. But because of the wind and the airplane being, sorry, I'm trying to separate these girls, and the airline being, um, the plane being so small, just in case they were unable to land, they have to take on board more fuel on really windy days. So by putting on more fuel means people's luggage gets left behind. So I had a small bag. It, it was actually, it could have gone as carry-on if I was flying a normal airline, you know, a standard bigger airline that goes across the across the country on an international flight, you know, I'd be able to fit my suitcase, you know, in overhead lock. But these planes just aren't big enough for that. So basically, a carry-on bag. It's only go for a couple of days, and you get to the gate and you go to boarding, and they turn around and say, due to, you know, restrictions, I've had to put more fuel on and um, therefore not all luggage will be able to be taken. So if you are selected, you will need to go. We actually had to go to where our luggage was on this trolley and pull out essential that we actually had to have the next day for that night um, so that... And it would be brought up to us the next day and delivered to our door to where we were staying. So you know no issues, I was staying at my mum's place. So you fill out the paperwork, you take out what you believe is your essentials. And, you know, and with them saying they'll deliver it. It's not a very big suitcase and my bag got chosen. So I was, I was pissed off. Didn't carry on like a pork chop, but I was pissed off. Oh, there's another hatch. Where did it go? Right there. Gosh. No. Did it actually lift it? There was a hatch there. It's just lifted. Let's push you back down. So, yeah. I've gone into the bag and grabbed just about everything I could and squeezed it into my backpack. Going, well, if you're letting me take what I can, and whatever I can put in my backpack, I'm going to put as much as I can in my backpack. It's probably not the logical thing to do when they're trying to lose light and weight of a plane. But anyhow, so that was interesting. I've had to pick out my lug, pick out of my luggage stuff that I wanted to take with me. You know, if you can imagine being on one of the trolleys that carts luggage. And there's 10 of you going through your suitcase, opening up your suitcase to be able to take what you find is essential. So generally, you know, essentials is bras, undies and that. And you're in, a, you're in an area that's surrounded by 10 people where they can see your undies and see your bras and anything else. You know, there's no privacy whatsoever when you are opening your suitcase to grab what you need. So that's not good. Let alone the fact you've got to leave your clothes with some stuff behind. So, yep, done that, gotten on the plane, flying down to Esperance. Um, it was only a late afternoon, evening flight. Gotten, gotten to Esperance, 
And then that night when I was heading for the shower, I've gone to get out my essentials, only to, to, go, to discover that my essentials being my underwear um, were still in my luggage because I wasn't comfortable with getting them out of my bag because there were people, you know, there's just some things I can't do. And I just wasn't prepared to pull my knickers out with everybody there. Um, <laughs> oh, God, this story's getting me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that night I've discovered no no underwear. Um, so no issue with that because it was at, at night time. So it was just, you know, the coat, go to bed, pyjamas, no, no, no clothes there. And then the next day I'm waiting for my luggage to arrive. And I'm only in Esperance for two days. So I'm actually waiting for my luggage to arrive. I can't go anywhere because my money and clothes are in my suitcase. So are my knickers. Um, and then I get a phone call at 11 o'clock in the morning from someone from the airline saying, we've got your suitcase. Um, you'll need to come and pick it up from such and such. And I've turned around and said, We've filled in forms with our details for you to deliver it to us. Um, please have a look at that form. It has my address on it. If you don't, if it, my address is not on it, of where I'm staying, this is what it is. You know, we've signed documents to say, yeah, yet yeah, they've provided documents to say that they will deliver these loot suitcases to us, and we get a phone call to say you need to pick it up. Trust me, I'm not going anywhere without any knickers. So they had to deliver them to me. It was all. The airline said they would deliver. It had to be delivered. So, yeah, that was, I eventually got my clothes, you know, and had my couple of days in Esperance with my family. And then flying home with the airline was an experience. I didn't have to leave any luggage behind. However, um, the plane... Landed from Perth, landed in Esperance. Um, we were there, I don't know, it was half past six in the morning for that flight. And something had happened with the pilots and they ended up having to get an, a different pilot. And that pilot actually had to go and have a sleep, otherwise he would have be, breached fatigue rules, which, good, you know, safety. So... This pilot's had to go and have a sleep, so therefore we have to wait until um, he could, he was classed as fit to travel. So we were told we'd have a delay till 10 o'clock. What happened after that was, you know, I've, I've just sat there and waited and waited, you know, told my mum not to worry about waiting because when we were first told, we weren't told what time the plane would be departing. We weren't told any of this information. We found out afterwards. And so waiting, waiting. In between waiting to get on a plane to go back to Perth, another plane from Perth has arrived. And that plane arrived. And instead of us getting the opportunity of getting on that plane in the next flight being delayed. The people that had turned up for the 10.30 flight got on that flight and left and we were still there waiting to depart. To actually see a plane land and take off while you're still waiting for your plane because your pilot's not fit to fit to fly you back where they should have actually taken that into consideration before they flew in, before you flew the flight plane down. Um, yeah, it was really frustrating. So this airline, and for those that, if anybody in Esperance is watching or listening to this YouTube, you'd be fully aware of what airline I'm talking about. It's a regional airline. And it's, yeah... So, to fly with those guys is ridiculous because you don't know if you're going to be late, whether your flight's going to be cancelled because they cancel on such late notice, whether you're going to get your luggage at the destination, 
Um, yeah, all comedy there is with this plane, this airline. But it's a small country town. There's not many people, not many businesses that will service um, a small town like this. You know, I don't know whether it was only a 36 seater plane or something like that. I don't know. I didn't count the seats, but not very big. Not very big at all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've heard of, you know, I'll go back to the situation with, with me not getting my luggage. You know, I'm in, I'm in town for only a couple of days. And, you know, to, be at, to not be able to have your luggage when you're there for a couple of days is just ridiculous. But I've heard of worse situations where people have flown from Esperance to Perth and have had to leave, so they've got children, um, young ones, they've had to leave prams and bassinets behind. Now that's safety issue for the children. If you can imagine coming up to Perth, you've got no safety seat, so you've got to try and organise that. You know, your, your travel is just completely screwed over. And most people, there's a lot of people that just fly um, just for a few days, you know, tend to only fly up to Perth for a few days. And they're leaving money behind is not good. Not good at all. And then you have people that fly up and they're actually going on holidays. So they're actually meet, supposed to be meeting a connecting flight. I mean, if you can imagine getting there, being told, oh, you can't take all your luggage. Yet your flight, your, your, your international flight, or your connected your flight to wherever you're going, isn't. Oh, wow. Gosh, come on! Be nice to me. And now I've lost where I was at. There it is. Um, yeah. If you imagine going away on holidays and having to leave your luggage behind and they say they're going to deliver it to you and it's like, well, you're going to have to deliver it to me in another country or another state. Not good. Yeah. That, that's about the airline. <laughs> Getting there and back. Which is why we tend to, a lot of people will drive. You know, 700 k's doesn't matter because you know you get there with everything, everything and you... When you, do, when you go, you're not faced with can cancellations or delays just out of the blue because you don't get told in where you're heading for the airport. But, yeah. So there's me having my more than five cents worth on that airline. <laughs> so I've been... Like everybody else that um, does diamond painting, well, obviously everybody else that's watching YouTube watches other people doing YouTube, and it's really good to watch. Um, I enjoy a lot of the clips. Um, I think Rachel Ray, um, I love watching her clips. And her accent is absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, yeah, so not much more else that I can talk about, I suppose. Go back to, I suppose, one of the things that I do, as I said, is, is do you know, an update on where I'm at with my shift. Um, I got distracted with the fact that we're on call. Um, so um, it's now Tuesday, um, which means I'm on break. Normally I do a YouTube clip when first day I'm on break, generally at the same time that my eyes are hanging out of my head because I've just finished night shift and haven't gone to bed. Didn't do it this time, um, purely because 
Well, not purely. There's a couple of reasons. One was, you know, I made the decision. I'll come home. I'll clean the house, and that way, while my mum's here, I'm able to spend time with her. I don't have to worry about cleaning the house because it's really good, nice and clean. Which is, you know, and I mean by nice and clean, I mean as in I have a dog that um, now that the weather's warming up, he's leaving hairs everywhere. And so, you know, trying to get rid of all the dog hairs that are around. And he, it's, he's not a long haired dog, he's a short haired dog. And these hairs are everywhere at the moment. Because it's um, October, yep, it's, it's middle of spring in, in Perth now. So things are warming up. So there was the housework side of the thing, getting, getting it so then. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about once mum comes, I'd you know, do the housework while she was here. It's nice not to have to do do housework and clean when somebody's there. My house is clean most of the time, but it's just nice to do that extra touch. And the other side of that is it was Monday, which is also um, because my partner is in retail. He, he was actually coming. And as mentioned before, I'm in open plan living and the study and the kitchen is three steps to my left. My kitchen bench is three steps to my left. So if I was doing a YouTube, you would hear him coming in and grabbing food and grabbing drink and um, he'd put more than his five cents worth into the YouTube clip if he was and knew I was doing it. So... So yeah, which is why it's being done today, which is Tuesday. Um, while I was on swing, I did receive some packages. Um, I did do an unboxing, however, I was... The footage wasn't, was not good. I used my... Um, I didn't use my main computer to record it, and so the footage was horrendous. Um, so I decided I wasn't going to put that on. What the what it was that I had arrived, I will show you. What arrived was my second ever moment. There we go. There we go. He arrived. Um, so I did my checking and, uh, and all of that. Now, it was an ever moment. It was EM Fun Store. So it was still, it was an ever moment. A diamond painting. Excuse me. And let's straighten that one up. That's why it's because I've got a bit of bad drilling with a bad edge. That's my H. That's H. That drill was a yucky drill, wasn't it? It had a tail. Okay, um, so yeah, the, the, this EM fund came through, drills, brilliant, canvas was a bit crinkled. Um, I was disappointed that the canvas was crinkled. It came in the tube, which is, you know, great protection, but the tube got crushed. And for those of you who have had ever moment packages, that tube is pretty sturdy. So for something to crush it, um, you know, it's got to be some significant weight. And yeah, it, it did. It's not too bad. I'll be able to sort it out. But it was still. It was disappointing to to get it out. The the degree that it was crushed, 
um, was horrible because in when you get the tube, you paint your drama paintings are wrapped around the tube, right? I've actually had to get the drill, drill, drills out and then wind the diamond painting tighter so that the circumference of it was smaller for me to pull it out because it wasn't coming out easy. It was crushed that much that I couldn't even get it out easy. Couldn't get it to slide out. So yeah, um, so I was a bit disappointed with that, with the state of that, but still happy with the quality and the drills. Um, so when I do my setup, I will probably I'll go into the details because I'll, I've kept the box. But when I do this, do my setup into my storage containers, I will talk about it then. So watch for that storage setup for the. Um, I suppose I don't know what I'll call, what I'll call him. He's a panther. It's a black panther. Most panthers are black. Well, they're not. Panthers aren't black, they're, they're so dark, they actually have a spot to them, but they're so dark you can't see the spot. Um, so yeah, I will, when I do that set up, um, but he won't be set up for a little while because I need to get a couple of diamond paintings completed, one of them being this one. But I've run out of storage containers for um, for my for my diamond paintings because normally I you know I set them up into the storage containers, but I've run out of room. And let that be a lesson to me because I have four more diamond paintings on order. Um, all stunning. Trying out another store. Do you find with me? I try different stores. Um, I have only bought once from AliExpress and that was the from, to get the ever moment to see what that was like. Otherwise I purchased from other stores straight from those stores not through AliExpress. Um, by dealing with the other stores I don't have to pay extra for tracking. I get the tracking details with them. Um, if you are in Australia and you do tracking with AliExpress, it's not an extra little bit. It's more than an extra bit. And I'm not prepared to pay extra for tracking when I can go to another store and, and you know, get the tracking part of without having to pay even having to pay shipping. So yeah, um, I have some. So I have some more, some more diamond paintings on order. Um, one with the special drills, which is um, a lion, um, which you know I will, will be a bit different. Um, I've ordered another. <laughs> Whoopsie, another lot of storage containers, just the one with the new ones um, that we've been seeing on Facebook. The one with the zip up case and 60 containers. Um, so I've ordered one of them to add to my collection of storage containers. Um, and I'll do an unboxing on that when that one arrives. Um, yeah, so. Actually, no, I've got five diamond paintings on, on, on that are be, currently being shipped. Um, so, yeah, uh, quite absolutely hanging for them to arrive. Not that I can do anything but do when I'm boxing them because I just don't have room to do anything but leave them in the container in the, um, in the setup. So, I would just purely set the drills aside into the tubs that I use before I put them in this, this into setup and these paintings will hang up because they're not big ones, these hat paintings will hang up um, in the wardrobe getting straight from the line. What is that? Okay, it's just my partner throwing me a text message. So yeah. 
I some I did um I did an unboxing as well, which uh, my sound I had issues with my sound, and I did an unboxing of the A three. So I got an A three light hat, um, which is this is the A three light pad. <laughs> So much bigger. Um, so I did an unboxing for that one. And there it goes sliding on the floor because I can't put it back to where it was. Um, and something happened with my volume and I played it back. Volume was too low. You couldn't hear, you could hardly hear me talking. Um, I have thought about doing a <coughs> voiceover. But in... <coughs> Excuse me. But in reality, a voiceover for me unboxing an A3 light pad, it was only me showing it with different sized um, diamond paintings on it, which is obviously all the ones that I'm currently working on. No, most of the ones I'm working on, I, I was checking them out on at the same time as doing the unboxing. So, yeah. Another new purchase. Unboxing that didn't go didn't go well. Um, who did I see? I was watching a clip today earlier. What was it? Dearly crafted. I was watching her doing a, a drill with me. And then she said, she, she was saying how even if the quality's not a hundred percent, she still posts them, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant, um, because it shows those of us that are only new to YouTube and that you know we all make mistakes. But she's pre she's prepared to put her ones that weren't good up, which. Uh, I actually would, however, if I don't have good sound, if I have sound so low, you can't hear it. Um, it's not worth putting up because you're not going to, it was that bad. I had my volume up full when I was playing it back and could only just hear me with a whisper. So, yeah. But yeah. Um, Tempted to go on to another colour, but it's just like, well, I'm on my, I'm not on the last bag of this colour, but the plan is to stick to one colour, get it done completely. Oops. Um, so, yeah, that's something. You're using the quick stick. I think I've shown it, I have shown the quick stick in one of my other drill wood things. I love it for rounds. I'm not having to worry about wax. Um, there is a little thing with this that gets frustrating, which is after you've done a few, the tip gets loose. And you tighten it up a little bit. If you tighten it up too much, you get good coming out of it. So you'll end up with good coming out of it if you tighten this too much. Um, but because you can't tighten it too much is the reason why it comes loose and spins. But yeah, I I use this when I'm doing rounds. And I just sort of go back to using this for the squares as opposed to the diamond pen, which I really, I really do enjoy the standard diamond pen. But I don't want to be mucking around with wax. Because I want to get this done as quickly as possible. Um, so that my mum can take it back. Because if she takes it back and it's light, I'll have a nice big custom to do. Um, without having to pay for it or and without having to worry about framing it or where to hang it. Because um, that's my next challenge is... What do I do? <laughs> well, 
what do I do with my diamond paintings I've not finished with you? Because I have some that I'm doing that are for family, that are gifts. But what do I do with the ones that I bought because I like them? Which is my cats. I like the cats. The big cats. I do like all of these. Whoops, there's a H. And where did I say, whoops, there's a H? There. Nope. There's somebody at all. So, yeah, by getting this done, I'll get the opportunity to have a big, a bit, another big one to do, which, um, yeah. Love the big, big ones. Um, my custom at the moment, my Durban, my Durban custom. Um, I've done about. I've, I'm more than halfway, probably not not three quarters through. Um, but I've got there and worked out the hours, so I don't fully track how many hours I, I spend on diamond painting. Because then I would get there going, well, maybe I should be using those hours for something else. But then it's like, no, this is good for now. Okay, yes. So it looks like I've done this one upside down. Looks to me like I've done about 90 hours on this, on my Durban so far. Um, estimating how long it takes me to do a section at a time on, on that one. Yeah. Um, I've got an estimation that's going to take me about 150 hours to complete it. Which is a lot of time to spend on one thing. So I've been rotating between that and the others. So I've got, still working on my youngest boy's soulmates. I'm on panel four. Three quarters away through. Look at me. There goes a yawn. Um, top one doing their ends. Oh, they're going down there. Um, I'll tilt this. Oh, there we go. I've got ends at the top. Back to the tweezers for this, though. This is better with the tweezers. This is actually. You can see how this is raised. Uh, this is going to have to go under some books when I'm uh, once I've sealed it. So yet again, I will use the aqua seal for that. Um, what have I got? See, I've got uh, one of the other diamond paintings my mum brought up. Um, is it partial? Oh, it's too dark to see. It's actually a rose. It looks like a square partial, which I haven't seen a square partial before. Um, and I don't know whether I might do an unboxing for that with um little thing on it, seller unknown, it came from Wish, just to do an unboxing, I like doing unboxings and unwrappings, and then to the left of me, underneath a couple of skews, it, when I say it, big ass books, flattening is a is the partial I completed for my mum last night. There's more, quite a bit more ends here somewhere there than there are. Come on, get off the tweezers. Okay. Um, which I'll pull out shortly. Um, just lift this again to see if I can spot any. There's another end there. 
Now the reason why I'm lifting this is because the whole thing is uncovered. So therefore, if I lean over it, it's kind of likely that my shirt will stick to it. Sorry, being silent while I'm looking for the ends. And I think that's it for the ends. So the ends should have had is the four three fives, which was seven hundred and twenty. There's got to be more in somewhere. Got to be more in somewhere. Where are you? Because I got. Four, three, five. I've got four bags that I should have done 720, and I've only opened three bags. I've still got a full bag. Did I open three bags or four bags? Ah. Oh well. So from there, it gives me one bag. And what I will do is. I won't even bag it. I will leave the bag like that. I'll put it into a boat. And if we go do what everybody else does, I will find more in the little wall. So that's just sitting there on the boat like that. Not packed away. For the next time I find any more that tend to be missing. So. Next one is the question mark, excuse me, which is 436, which is 442. 442. 436, three bags, 600. So I should only use just over, um, just over two bags. Uh, for those that aren't aware, you've got your perforations in between these bags. I did it when I was doing the other moment. I don't know where you can see, but there's a perforation and you can actually go that way. You can actually tear these bags apart by the perforation. Just as a little, I think I saw somebody go on Facebook go, oh, I just discovered you can tear these. That's how they rip them off for us to set when they package them with the big mess of those. That's what the first solution is there for. Okay, so cut off the number. So I have the number there and put the bag. <sighs> Question marks, question marks, question marks, everything's a question mark in your own life, isn't it? So this is, I've done drill with me for an hour. I don't know whether, oops, I might go a little bit longer. I'm quite sure there's more stuff I can fiddle around in the back. Um, <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, so, at work as a train control, um, my crew know that I'm diamond painting. They know that I've been on YouTube for it. Um, I've turned around and said to my boss, so on the very quiet times, I'll get on and have a look at diamond painting websites, which is where um, on night shift I have. Been the, is, has been the time when I bought my diamond paintings. <laughs> not while I'm at home, it's while I'm at work. I'm not shifting. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I'll buy that one. I'll order that one. Um, so, you know, I told that to my boss. I said, I've got to get off the computer at night time. I said, I've got to not, not purchase. I've got to try and not purchase any diamond paintings when I'm at work. 
Mm. Yes, I have a very busy job, but there are some nights where it's really quiet. Um, but I have one of the girls at work has turned around and said, I hate your new hobby. <laughs> um, which is really funny. Most people get there and don't say that about people's hobbies. But it's because of what it's taken me away from. Um, I hate cooking, but I love to bake. And what I used to do on swing nights, so when I went from day shift to night shift, the night when I finished that, when I, when I finished day shift, I used to bake. Um, and instead of baking, I now diamond painting, which is why she doesn't like my new hobby, because when I baked, I brought cakes in. And some of those are, um, how do I put it? I've done the, the 15 layered honey, Russian honey cake. Um, Baked cheesecakes. I love baked cheesecakes. I love making baked cheesecakes. Um, so there's been quite a few. I've made quite a few cakes, and so hence uh, this girl at work. I, I hate your new hobby because you're not going to win cakes. <laughs> so, um, and I said, oh well, you know, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. And she's turned around and goes, well, why don't you YouTube you baking cakes? And then you can YouTube that and we, you, we will still get cakes. <laughs> and I'm like going, yeah, no, you don't want to watch me baking. You don't want to do that. So um, I will put it out there if you're actually still watching. That's something that's worth YouTubing, me baking cakes. Um, my workmate would appreciate it if you said, oh, you'd watch that. <laughs> My partner would too because he's missed the facts and I've stopped baking. Um, some of the things that I where did that one go? Just discovered I've got some girls left in it, so I'm gonna get the roller. Get that satisfying crunch. Just trying to make these are down. These are popping up. Hi. So yeah, so I do baked cheesecakes. Um, I do yeah, the, the honey cake, which I actually do enjoy making. Um, what else? I do a black forest cake, and I only cook that for certain occasions. One of those occasions is my birthday because I don't believe anybody else can cook a cake that good. So I make my own cake. Gosh, straighten up. Um, but that black forest cake takes me four hours to make, so I don't do it very often. I do it for my birthday, I do it for Christmas. And if asked, I will do it for somebody else's birthday, but I've got to be asked to do it. And I've got to be given plenty of time because I used to make the cake on one night, but then it wasn't getting the cherry syrup to um, cool down quick enough. And it soaked into the cream, which isn't an issue, but it just doesn't look pretty. It's that one down there. So yeah, um, that would be takes me a couple of nights to do now. I do the cherry sauce, cherries and sauce on the first night, and then everything else on the second. Um, I do carrot cake, which is me, and I will be doing now doing boiled fruit cake. Um, my mum does an amazing fruit cake. And I've got the recipe off there once before. I scanned it, 
and then couldn't follow the recipe at all. <laughs> so she's actually brought it up for me and she's gonna, um, we're gonna write it out um, to be able so I, that I can understand um, how to cook. Uh, I think we're gonna convert the ounces into grams and kilos. So then I can use, and I've got no issue there. Um, but yeah. But yeah, if, if any, I suppose it's something I probably could YouTube is, is me baking in the kitchen. However, the flip side of that is I, I'm not keen to see myself on camera. You might see glimpses of me, but I don't like being on camera. Like having pictures taken of me. So I try and avoid being in a picture as much as I can. Okie dokie, and we'll start with this. Coming to very slowly, very slowly. I suppose the great thing is, is um, because I'm working one colour, it is, it is quicker, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty colours to go. So I'm a third of the colours through, but I've got bags there where I only need to do twenty-eight, thirty. Fills, so um, when I get to those, they're going to be really quick ones, quick ones. Which I think at the moment I'm tempted. I am really tempted. I am going to. I'm going to put the 436 aside. I'm going to go on to some of my smaller bags just to get them out of the way. Uh, 436 I was up to. I'm going to do the 740. Oh, pretty colour. Put that aside. I'm going to do some, have some quick wins. I need some quick wins at the moment with these colours. Just nice to be able to go, yep, all done on that. 740. There's my scissors. Because I'll be able to put these out and then I'll be able to bag this straight away for the way in a bag. And 7.40, there is 28 of those and a thick A, an orange A. So, let's do a count with me as I work, work, work my way through these ones. Not a drill with me, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get in there. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
There's two more. There they are. 26. 27. 28. That's how you know you've completely used all your colours and you're not going to find any more elsewhere, isn't it? Take that one away. That's... I can see that's very... It's actually very pretty. Pretty orange, that one. So that's, that's the colour done. What else can I knock off quickly? Eight. We find eight. So this, what's the number two? Seven twenty. Seven it is. That's super thin. Can't even talk to me more of that. I lose count very easily. Just 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go, that's why. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. I'm going to use a three placer. 20. 23. That's one more to think. 23. 26. Six. 
good in the moment. I wasn't going to use this, was I? 42. Need seven more. One, two, One more, unless I miscounted one. But I do believe I still have one more out there. Excuse me while I lift this up. Oh, just, uh, gosh. Either I have one more or I have miscounted. You guys have probably been watching me. Probably are in this camera. Can't see it anywhere else. So, I'm actually going to bag this. That's because grabbing one out is not going to be a big issue if I happen to find it. Which will be as soon as I start my next time. Do you know what I just found? There's one I just found of another colour. Two of another colour. 
Good days. That's what is good about when Mary cut us out. Okay. So it's 7.20. I'm still looking for one symbol while I take these away. So I'm going to leave it there because otherwise you just, all you're going to do is hear me counting. But yeah, I will um, chat to you another time and fair way through my little, he's going to look good. I'll do a review when he's completed, which maybe is tonight or else tomorrow. Yeah, it's looking good so far. Um, thanks and I'll chat to you later. Bye.